So I'm Brian Avery, Associate Professor of Biology at Westminster College. Uh, and my main research is on the brine shrimp in Great Salt Lake, uh, Artemia, and trying to understand uh, their population genetics and a little about their genomics. Our main project right now is to uh, first characterize some polymorphisms from the brine shrimp in Great Salt Lake. It's not very well understood um, what the genetic structure of that population is. Uh, that's kind of our main focus right now. Um, eventually, what we would like to do is make a, a landscape genetic map so try to look at the microenvironments of Great Salt Lake and um, try to, to discover if there are differences in the genetics of the population depending on from where the samples came. Um, no one knows that now, um, and so that's kind of our main goal. Another goal is also to try to identify population-specific markers. So um, is this a Great Salt Lake brine shrimp genetically, uh, yes or no? And to be able to screen batches of cysts that are harvested from Great Salt Lake to be able to say, the manufacturer claims this is a Great Salt Lake brine shrimp. Is it? Um, or did it come from Mono Lake or San Francisco Bay or Kazakhstan or wherever else it might be from? Also, um, I have some new projects now. One that has to do with um, oak hybridization in the foothills here in the Wasatch um, and also in Zion uh, Canyon National Park. There are two distinct species of oaks that grow near each other and they can hybridize. But again, the, what happens genetically during those hybridizations is unclear. And so we'd like to be able to characterize specific um, alleles that are for each species and then look at the hybrids and see what they've actually uh, inherited, how much comes from one parent versus the other, or can we track that down? There's a population of oaks here that are probably hybrids from thousands of years ago that are still around, um, but nobody knows genetically what those look like. So again, we'd like to both scan for um, new polymorphisms or species-specific alleles and then apply them to these populations kind of on a massive scale to try to see if we can uh, characterize the genetics of some of these organisms. Um, the main reason why is that it's, uh, it does both polymorphism discovery and genotyping on the same platform with the same reagents. And that to me was a big advantage. Um, you don't have to have two different technologies for those two things. It's also a lot better than sequencing for both of those things as far as ease of use and, and cost.